It's a fact. Toyota offers 10 different vehicles with available four or all-wheel drive. So when you need to drive in challenging conditions, we have your answer with great limited time savings, including the new 2014 Tundra. Choose from excellent cash back savings, a low payment lease, or special financing as low as 2.9%. Tundra, ready to take you down winter's toughest roads. Discover Toyota's four and all-wheel drives for yourself. Visit any of your Inland Empire Toyota dealers today. Toyota, let's go places. Hi everybody, I'm meteorologist Don Morelli with you here on I-5 or Channel 1 Weather. We are looking at our forecast through the weekend brought to you by Bud Cleary Toyota Dealers. Toyota, let's go places. And we do have an opportunity for a little bit of showery weather times overnight Saturday and Sunday. But much of Saturday looks pretty nice, some morning fog, but much of the day looks dry until later in the day. And then unsettled, as I mentioned, later Saturday into Sunday morning. But then Sunday afternoon looks unsettled or looks settled, I should say. And so again, bookends of nice ending and nice beginning of the weekends. And then uh, really much of the next week looks pretty nice. The only bad thing this week, I know you probably don't want to hear it, but we lose an hour of sleep. So don't forget to turn the clock ahead Saturday night before you go to bed. 57 degrees and 33 the extremes today. A very nice afternoon temperature with the thermometer rising close to 60. In fact, even closer in Moses Lake, one degree closer, 58 degrees the afternoon high after a mild start of 40. And again, currently it's a very nice start to our weekend with the temperature still in the 50s, but we'll cool it off pretty quickly as the sun sets. Southwest breeze at six miles an hour. The thing I want to point out is 34 degrees. And again, a little bit of fog possibly developing overnight tonight to start your Saturday. So what's going on? Well, you see over here in the Gulf of Alaska, stretching back into the Pacific, we have quite a wet system once again, poised to move inland, and by sunrise, it'll be moving into coastal sections, and much of the day, west of the Cascades, will be wet and windy. Late in the day, though, the clouds will thicken up in our area, so late afternoon, evening, the rains will start pushing in, and then by sunrise Sunday, everything should be moving on off, if not by mid to late morning. So we are going to squeeze in the daylight hours, at least a good portion of daylight hours this weekend. Not too bad. So specifically, west of the Cascades, a wet, wild day, 50s for the most part, some moderate to heavy downpours. The inland northwest, a great looking day. The clouds really don't come in until later on in the afternoon and evening there. But of course, we're in between that. So we'll see the clouds thickening on up during the afternoon here in the Columbia Basin. Generally, though, temperatures very nice in the mid 50s, still above normal, even with the thickening clouds during the afternoon upper 40s in Bridgeport. But as we take a quick look at the seven days, you can see some fog is possible during the morning to greet your Saturday. Then much of the day, partly cloudy to mostly cloudy, rain coming in overnight, ending Sunday midday, if not during the morning hours. Still lots of clouds, still a few peaks of sun. And then we end up in the 50s, if not near 60 for the rest of the work week. Some spot showers possibly by the tail end of the work week, but not too bad. In fact, I just noticed it's a full house. 355s and 233s. Too bad we weren't playing poker. <laughs> but anyway, hope you have a great weekend, everybody. Keep it here.